All right, what is going on, y'all? So today's video, we're actually doing the, it's, it's an unboxing, but also like I'm really giving you all my key, my like my real true opinion about the Nam Light Mix Panel 150. Um, I do feel like this light kind of got like a bad reputation, if you will, um, because like of a couple of things, but keep in mind, this light is three years old. So let, let, let's, let's knock out a couple of things, number one. Number one, Nam Light did send me this light, right? But like I told you before my previous videos, like they just support me as a creator, right? They're not sitting here like paying me, be like, all right, man, say like say this about our light to make sure it appeals to people. Like, keep in mind, like I do this for real, right? I go out into the field, I work, I make my living off video production. I'm not a YouTuber, okay? I just wanna make that clear right now. I am not a YouTuber. I run a video production, which is actually number one in Chicago for commercial productions. Like, I I, I do this, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I say I have to say that. I don't just go off and be like, oh yeah, man, like this is dope because now like send it to me. I'm actually like doing an unboxing, but I will also be breaking down why this light should be considered for your next key light and opposed to others. Because to me, this light is actually a direct competitor to the Nova P300C by Aperture, but to me, it's like a little bit smaller. Now you will see me like pull up my phone every now and then, uh, Z44 Galaxy game. But uh, I actually got this because like my notes, I wanna make sure I don't miss anything, right? So. Uh, as you all can see, like Nanlite actually provides a very nice carrying case with this light. And I like that all their lights come in the carrying case. So the Pavo, the Pavo 2 30Xs, my Nanlite 300B Mark II, and then this light currently, and even the bag that the Fresnel lens come in, like it comes in a very nice bag. I don't know if it's waterproof or not, but if it is, please comment down below. But let's, uh, let's get into it. So he's going to open this up. I got short arms, apparently. <laughs> Reach it over there. Okay, so here is the light itself. Now this is, it's a chunky boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna take everything out. Um, here we have the charging brick, right? Um, this here is actually like the, um, the 26 volt converter. We'll talk about this in a minute. Another cable. Let's sit that to the side. I mean, you've seen a charging brick before. Like, you've seen one charging brick, you've seen them all. Here we have the Nanlite Mix Panel 150. You heard the grunt because the grunt was real. Set that bag to the side. And just to be clear, just kind of show you all, the bag actually comes like a little feet, which I think is pretty cool. So if you want to sit it on the ground, you don't have to worry about it. Like it has some type of um, raised-tivity. Don't know if that's the word, but it's a word today. All right, here we go. Here we have the Nanlite Panel Mix panel 150. Now they also do have a mix panel 60 as well, but I got the bigger boy because of the movie that I'm working on. I was gonna need some power, right? Now, it actually comes with barn doors. A soft box isn't here, but they did send me a soft box as well. And these barn doors actually come off fairly easy. I'm not gonna snap them off now, but on my second angle, you will see like there's like little ridges here that you can just easy just like pull off. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna do it right now but like that's how easy it is to take off the barn doors for these. Now, let's kind of go over to like why this light is so great, um, especially if you are doing documentaries or interviews, right? So like most of us, sometimes you are in a space where it's not a lot of space, right? So trying sometimes like to, to put up a light or like use a big soft box like you're currently using right now, it's not always ideal. And sometimes it can take up a lot of space and it's just like very cumbersome sometimes. So sometimes I do wish I had a light that was like more portable in which I didn't even need cables at all. Now, one would argue with Sean, I don't, you know, you have the Falcon eyes, which is the, like that, um, which is also 150 watts as well. It's an LED light, um, but it's not RGB. Not that I use RGB a lot, but you know, uh, the Falcon Eye is a rollable light. The, the Falcon Eye 24 DT Mark II, that, that's another great light as well. Um, the reason why I like this light though is because the reason why the Falcon Eyes to me doesn't compare to this is because of the setup. The Falcon Eyes, like those rollable lights, like they're cool in theory until you're trying to set those up and you're sitting here trying to put the put the metal bar like put the metal bar into like the little slot here and then one key popping out, one key. It is very cumbersome. So I really wanted this light because like if I'm doing like document interviews, I can literally just set this light up, put a V mount on it. Uh, and then like be good to go. Another the great thing about this, it actually has handles, right? So as you all can see, if you are like filming a movie and you need to kind of like have like a key light on a, on, a, on a subject, you could just walk around with this drum right here and be like perfectly good to go. Like 
the the portability to me beats out something like a Falcon Eyes, like a Rover Light, because it one, like it all it's compact. But when I take this out the bag, I put this on the stand, I'm done. I don't have to set anything up. I don't even have to hang up a light or like I don't have to hang up like a like a ballast or anything like that. It's already good to go. So again, if you're using like this in small spaces, I mean, you know what I'm saying? So another great thing about this light is that it's our, it has a built-in soft modifier, right? This light is a soft and hard light combined into one. Now, this is what I want to introduce this. I don't have a V-mount battery, so let's get one of those. One of the caveats to this light is the fact that it is built for a 26 volt V-mount battery. I don't have 26 volt battery and I wasn't finding about a whole new battery. So instead, Nan Light actually sells a converter. Now one would argue like, why didn't they just build this in? Oh, they probably just want to think about it at the time. To be honest, I don't know, it's not a big deal for me. This converter is only 80 bucks and I recommend it. I already did some testing on it, but like I was saying, if you all want to make this light even more portable, and use like use it how like you would want to use it. Like think about how easy that is. Like right now, all I have to do is put this on the stand, right? And actually, <laughs> we have a stand right here. I put this on the stand. And another great thing, you probably can't see this off on like the angle, but all of Nan like um um like heads, if you will, have like this uh like a, a spring that protects the twist knob. I guess like from going in too much or something like that. But uh, I love that feature. Like it it, it really is great. So. I'm gonna turn this on, open the barn doors. Now obviously like the, the individual LEDs, but if we turn this light on, now all of Nan lights, what I've noticed with their product, like there is a delay, but to me that's not necessarily a bad thing because if you were trying to, like prime example, if you're not trying to blind somebody, you don't wanna just have it just come on right away and just like hit them in the eyes like that, right? You all see the individual LEDs and then once we change the color temp, oh, that's HSI. Go back to CCT. I'm sorry, that's the green, um, green magenta shift. So once we just kind of like turn these dials a little bit, you will see that the, the blue LEDs have to come on. But like I said, the great thing about this light, again, in comparison to something like a Falcon Eyes, right, is that there is a hard and a soft mode. So I just, I, I was actually already on soft mode. So here's the soft mode. I know I hit the button already. And then here's a hard light more. So like, as you can see, you see LEDs more soft light and here it is on me. So I'm gonna turn this up a little bit just so you all can kind of see the effect. You, that like, that's a huge difference, bro. Like, again, look at me now. I mean, I can look directly into this and like, okay, yeah, this is not bad. But when you hit that hard light, it is very powerful. So like, if you're trying to use this, let's say to like blast or a sheet of diffuser or something like that, like this light would be perfect for that. Now, currently, we are in boost mode with this light. Um, and, and that's something I kind of want to discuss because I, like, that's one of the main hiccups that this light had got, which I want to kind of go over with you all, right? One thing about this light that people had like a very, like a huge issue with is, especially like for interviews, is the fan noise. I want to put the fan close to my chest so you all can hear for yourself. And this is like really like directly close to my chest. Now, that is currently in boost mode. So let's go ahead, because they have three different modes in which has three different brightness. So the way you want to look at it is like in silent mode, it's like 50%, normal mode is like 75%, then boost mode is like 100% of the output of the light. So let's go ahead and actually, okay. And as you can see, the fans definitely gets quiet. You still hear a little bit, but it definitely gets quiet. And then we're going to go into silent mode. In which you hear absolutely nothing, right? So. The reason why people was kind of giving this light gripes is because of the fan noise. Now, for me personally, because of the way I edit, because of DaVinci Resolve, and, and also because of my mic placement, I haven't noticed an issue with using this light with audio issues. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be real. Like, because where I have my key light, it's opposite of my mic. You know what I'm saying? So now, one, so I know one argument would be, Sean, if you're in a small space, you may pick up that noise, like, more so, but if you're in a small space, then I mean, you obviously don't need that much power because you don't need to fill up the whole room. Then you either put it in silent or normal mode. Like to me, this light is fit for every situation. So if you're gonna be in an environment where you actually just blast this light through a diffusion, or it's like uh, like almost something as a practical, or there's something like out of the way, farther away from your audio source, then turn it on, you know what I'm saying? Turn on boost mode and get the max output of your light. But if you're gonna be doing like an interview, you're gonna have it kind of close to your subject, you have normal and silent modes to offer that. Like I, this light got so much gripe about that. I'm like, man, clearly you guys didn't know how to use it in a professional setting. Like that's just my opinion. Um, another great thing about this is like, just this is something random, but 
Another great thing about this is it actually has like a USB, uh, a USB A port. So if you actually need to plug something up, uh, whether it's anything, charge up a phone, a light, whatever the case is, you can do that from this light here because it has a USB A port. It does have DMX in and out. Um, and there's an RGBW light. So that means you can actually control the green and magenta shift. It is a RGB light, so you have four HSI controls. Um, and on top of that, or let's let's not forget because it's actually important, it actually has gels built into the light. So you can like customize certain CTOs that you want and like get like a specific red. I know sometimes it's very hard for lights to get red, but as you all can see, and you know, this this light, it gets it gets red with no problem. I love all the dials. The dials are like essentially like how you control the light. So if you're trying to like select something or the menu of the case is, you use this light to select it. Um, one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite feature is, it's actually got two. One, you can actually use presets on this light. So you just click a button, you hit preset, you can manage presets, you actually set it to like maybe interview light. Like, so you know if you're gonna go to a small space, these are typically the settings I use for small spaces. So okay, boom. This is the setting I used to use for daylight balance or night balance, whatever the case is, right? Boom, you got your presets built in and you can lock the buttons. Now with the lock button, if you hold lock, you can lock it, right? <clears throat> go ahead and hold lock down for a little bit. Right, and then when you turn the light off, it remembers that it was in lock mode. You know what I'm saying? So like maybe if you lost power or somebody hit something by accident, you don't have to worry about that. If it was in lock mode, it's still in lock mode even when you power the light off. Now, early in the video I said, if anything, you wanna compare this light to like a Nova 300C. The P Nova 300C is similar to this. It's actually bigger, it's RGB as well, but it costs more, I think it costs like an extra, I think the P Nova C is like 1500 bucks. You get this light between like a thousand to like $1,100. Um, and then the P Nova 300C is actually 300 watts, but that's a, like, that's a really big light. I'm not gonna lie to you, like, that's, that's a big boy. But in most situations, like, usually this may be enough, you know what I'm saying? Like, for small documentary stuff, like, this is it. Now, my, um, and I'm a gripe with this light. My only, only gripe with this light is that it doesn't have built-in Wi-Fi control. Like, you have to actually get a separate panel for that, like a separate control unit, which we discussed in my, uh, like, one of my issues with the Pavo 2's 30X's, I mean, 30C's, the OG's. They didn't have built-in app support. Like this light would have been fantastic for app support, being able to set this up and control everything through your phone. I think that would have hit a home run with this light. But overall, I 100% would recommend this light. It's super heavy duty. Like the build quality of this light is phenomenal. Carbon fiber back. I mean, you know, if you're okay with getting like an extra accessory, which is 80 bucks, the uh, the converter, the, the, the 26 volt, the 26 volt converter to the 14.8 volts, um, to me, that's a small price to pay just to like kind of have V mounts that you actually own and have to actually have, have to buy a different one, a, bit, a different V mount. But I mean, overall, I have like other than app control, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't really have any huge issues with this light, to be honest. You know what I mean? Like, I think Nan Light did a fantastic job with this light, especially if it to be three years old, you probably can find it even cheaper on the used market. You know, like I understand that as creators, sometimes we always try to continue to get the, the latest and greatest, the newest thing out. But one thing about lights that differs from camera, a light is gonna be a light. You know what I'm saying? No matter, you know, it's gonna be bright, it's gonna be portable, whatever the case is, if whatever you bought a light for, like I know for example, like any light that I bought, like <laughs> that I bought, any light that I bought, I can use for a longer period of time with any of my professional gear. Now camera gear can change, right? Get to get new lenses, new cameras, dynamic range change, all the case is. But light is light, power is power. And to me, the Nanlite Mix Panel 150 offers that. So if you're interested in this light, man, I make sure I definitely drop it down in the description below. Again, Nan Light, thank you for sending this out and for, you know what I'm saying, trusting for creators like myself. If y'all want to learn know more about this light, please hit me up on IG at Brooks Media. That's Brooks Media with two S's. If you want to add the S, you ain't spelling it right. Deuces.